Hi everyone, here are some of the supplies that you'll need if you plan on following along with the RoboBird project on the Maker Camp on Google+. RoboBird's going to be on Tinkering Tuesday, so be sure to check it out this week. So the first really useful supply that you will really need is a hot glue gun for attaching all the materials together. Also need some wire strippers for stripping wire and some tools for cutting things. So you could use scissors or you could use an exacto knife and some cutters like this. For the brain of RoboBird you'll definitely need an Arduino of sorts and a breadboard. And to make the RoboBird move you'll need two micro servos, at least two micro servos. In RoboBird, there's actually three micro servos used, one for the beak and two for the wings, so you can decide exactly what you want to animate on that day. You'll also need two LEDs, these are for the eyes. You can option it, optionally also have googly eyes on top of the LEDs. Oh yeah, and you can substitute in some really awesome RGB LEDs as well to make it look even more cool. And we'll also need a sensor of sorts. This is a photo cell, so it will be able to detect differences in light. But you can use any sort of sensor you want with this project. So for instance, you can have a switch, or you can have a PIR sensor to detect motion, or even an ultrasonic sensor to detect uh, how far things are away. And also, last but not least, you'll also need something to build the RoboBird with. So, for instance, cardboard is pretty good for this. You can double it up or triple it up to make it more strong. And you, Or you could also use some craft sticks, coffee stir sticks, popsicle sticks, pencils, any sort of material that's really good at being glued together. Or, for extra summary bonus points, you could use some twigs and string together, which is a lot of fun. Oh, and one last thing, if you want to make the row bird look a little bit cute and cuddly, you can also grab some fabric or cloth and cover it up with that, so that way uh, it'll be nice and soft to the touch. But the whole idea of this is to sort of get creative, build a robotic bird creature or even your own sort of creature and have it able to sense its environment and then interact with it because it's a robot. So I hope to see you on Maker Camp on Tuesday and we can uh, talk about robo-birds and robots and learn all sorts of really fun things.